Greetings all, Raphael X here with another video. Subscribe, click on the like button, the notification button, all that good stuff, and also subscribe. I believe I said that at the beginning. Yeah. All right. So without further ado, let us start with a prayer. In the name of the Father and of the Son, Latin. Nomini Patris et Fili, Spiritu Sancti. Amen. Ave Maria, gracia plena, Dominus tecum. Benedita tu mulieribus, et benedictus fructus ventris tui, Jesus. Santa Maria, Mater Dei, ora pro nobis peccatoribus, nunc et in ora mortis nostre. Amen. In nomine Patris et Filii, Spiritus Sancti. Amen. All right. So for those who have been following the news, you know that there has been recently one, two, and even three bank collapses, and even other ones are on their way. As the numbers show us, the the banks are just really in bad shape, and they've been falling off. And this has created panic. Obviously, it would be a bad thing for people to rush and pull out their deposits, as as the banks don't have the liquidity for um for for everyone to be pulling out their money. So that would be a problem. Yet, nevertheless, I do want to propose certain issues. Um, certain solutions, rather, to the to what's going on. So let me share my screen here, because um, well, first of all, before that, I do want to talk about that how these these banks and all corporations and companies in general they are falling off completely because they are going woke. They're seeking equity. They're seeking diversity for its own sake. They're seeking right um, uh, identity politics. It's all part of the same soup, and that has been dis destroying their business. So the SVB, the Silicon Valley Bank, as many of you know, they have actually been more preoccupied with um, climate change, essentially, and promoting businesses who have, who who essentially right fight climate change as opposed to protecting their depositors so this is a huge problem so um as the saying goes you go woke you go broke right that's definitely true look at disney definitely another another um corporation that is um becoming woke so the more woke you become the more broke you become and a lot of our banks the big banks are totally woke so I believe, um, you know, we are in danger, even though they are FDIC insured, right? Most banks are, at least the big ones. The local ones may not be. Um, it's up to $250,000 insurance. But I do want to give you some options, though. So this is important. Let me share my screen with you. And a free uh, advertisement, free promotion for these banks. So this is a Delphi. And Adelphi is, check it out, better banking, higher purpose. And this is very interesting. This is a credit union. A lot of people like credit unions better because they have higher in interest rates. Um, sometimes they don't charge you for checkbooks, for the checkings. They have other benefits also. They, they, they have cons also in the sense that they don't, they're not available, right, for ATM. Sometimes it takes lo longer for the, uh, the money to appear for a deposit. That's that's the, the issue with credit unions. Um, but they do have better interest rates and things like that. But so this is a Delphi, and it, it, this is a Christian bank, so, uh, essentially, in the sense that they promote Christian ideals. And actually, if you look here, it says they give 10% to help spread Christian values. And I'm Catholic, you know. Um, I believe the Catholic Church has the fullness of the faith. The other Christians are offshoots of Catholicism with their man-made elements. But nevertheless, um, you know, especially in this war, we have to, you know, the culture war, we have to get together with our Christian brothers. And sad to say, especially in America, some of the Christians, like the evangelicals, for example, are better off, are better in their members than the Catholics, sad to say. Right, even though the church has the Catholic Church has the fullness of the truth. Um, all right, so this Adelphi Kingdom Impact Initiative here, they show people praying and things like that. So the thing is, it's not just 
of course we should be promoting Christian values for their own sake. But the thing is that promoting Christian values is even going to help us in the physical sense. Right? It's going to help us in the material sense, in the economic sense, because God is essentially protecting them. Right, that's a supernatural reason, and a natural reason is that the companies they, they, um, uh, or you know the the things they invest in are going to be very much merit based. Now, wokeness is totally against merit, so that's the problem. That's that's the reason for their downhill. Um, so uh, there's a Delphi Bank is a good. There's other options. There's actually a website where you can go to. Uh, and you could Google this, banks that have uh, conservative values. So this is an economic safeguard, right? And a supernatural one also. Now, these are not FDIC insured, but they're um, what you're called NCUA insured, which is like the FDIC is for banks. The NCUA is for uh, credit unions, right? And this is the National Credit Union Administration. So it's insured. In the, I believe in the same the same amount two hundred fifty thousand dollars, and also in investing investing also there's something that I've invested in, I have money in. Um, I don't have a Delphi account yet, but I did um, apply for one, so I should be coming. I should be hearing a response soon. But stocks and mutual funds, Ave Maria mutual funds, right now this one is Catholic, and they promote businesses companies that that promote also for their part catholic ideals this is very important it's very important so this is Ave Maria mutual funds and you can be assured not only of economic success but of this the supernatural help that comes along with it right very important so i wanted to make that um kind of giving that as a, a resolution for the times we're living in now now of course it may be imprudent if you know, everyone starts pulling out the deposits, but I know my show is not, you know, um, I don't have that many views. So I know that's not a danger where people are going to listen to me and start pulling out their, their deposits. But we, we do have to, as Christians, and little by little, we have to Christianize the culture and especially through our money. Right? Our, we have to speak through our money. We have to evangelize through our money. So, uh, a lot of people, they really don't consider, you know, the consequences of supporting a certain organization, a certain company, right, a certain corporation. But we ought to. Conservatives haven't been really good at this, right? Boycotting, not necessarily boycotting, but promoting those businesses that do promote our uh, our, our ideals. That's very important. All right. So I thought, yeah, I send this video out. It's late. It's about 12 a.m. where I'm at. And um, I'll see you next time. Take care and God bless. Bye now.